Hi and welcome back. In this video we'll be looking at remote schema joins and to do that I will be attaching another schema from my CMS provider in this case. This is using Graph CMS, a GraphQL based headless CMS. You can use any GraphQL schema you would like. I'll be using this one as a hosted example for this project. So to do that, I'm gonna to go to the Remote Schemas tab here underneath my project, and I'll navigate over and just grab the schema settings from my CMS here. So I'll go to API access, I'll copy my uh, API, I'll paste this in, well first I'll give it a title underneath my Remote Schema name, I'll paste this in. I could also grab this from an environment variable if I would like. And then from my headers, I'm gonna pass in a authorization token. And I will simply use string values in this case. But you could also, again, use environment variables. I'm gonna copy that token that I have pre-created. I'll pass this in as the value. And now I'll just say add remote schema. All right, we've added our, our schema, and now we're gonna to go to our actual data model here, and we're going to add a, a relationship on the palettes, on the palettes table. So we're gonna to go to the relationships here, and I will say add remote schema relationship here at the bottom. And from there, I'm gonna give this a field name that will show up inside of my API. I'm gonna use GCMS and I will choose the remote schema that I've saved, which is the GCMS schema. Now, you'll notice that I've prefixed my API from my, my CMS with a CMS underscore type name. That's just to help me provide some namespace scoping to avoid collisions. I'm gonna attach this to the uh, CMS palette, which is the single uh, lookup, and I'm gonna tell it to try to identify where the slug, in this case I've pre-matched one so I know that the name is work, I'm gonna say the slug, which is an uppercase uh, version, uppercase name match, will be matching the name of my palette itself. That's all I need for this schema to merge. You would pass in any other required fields that you would need for that lookup to connect the relationship here, but all I need here is that one, so I'll go ahead and hit save. And now I've actually got the relationship working. So let's go ahead and head over to the API Explorer to, to test this out. I'm gonna take a look here. And there's gonna be one little catch here we're gonna have a quick look at. What I'm gonna do here is look up the palette, uh, which is in this case just the, uh, the palettes, all of them. And I'm gonna grab the name on that. And now I'm gonna uh, actually look to see if that CMS really is connected here. And that should be the lowercase gcms field name. And when we do that, we see it is in fact done. We see that the type is uh, showing up, which is great. And now it's gonna give me an error here in one minute and I'm gonna explain why. I'm gonna say gcms and I wanna just go ahead and grab the uh, title on that and the description. Now it's giving me the error because there's actually, and this is a rich text field, so we need to grab a subfield, there we go. Uh, it's giving me an error because I need to pass in the, the expected or required parameters for the GCMS field. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that the stage here is gonna be on the published stage, and I'm going to pass in the uh, locale which needs the default locale. And from there, I will go ahead and say that it needs the where clause, which is a required field input argument for querying from, from GraphCMS. Uh, but in this case, I can leave it empty uh, because I don't actually need to specify any additional where parameters. I'm already doing that programmatically when we define the relationship where we're saying do the match where the name and the slug connect. And so here I'm just uh, needing to pass it in as a essentially an empty argument, but that will uh, that's my connection here. So let's go ahead and test this. So what we have here is from the name, we have this coming from Hazura and from GCMS, we have it coming from GCMS. So let's go ahead and run that query. And so here we can see that we have the name, R uh, RGB, uh, which is the name of the palette. 
And then we have the content from the, from the CMS, which is essentially my editorial take. So describing my palette that maybe my marketing team wants to have a bit more control over and be able to modify how things look. That is the basics of remote schema joins. It is an extremely powerful primitive to work with for developers to be able to say, I can add multiple different projects together or multiple different schemas together inside of a single unified API and be able to extend a lot of the rest of my logging and monitoring and the rest of my protections that, I, that Azure Cloud provides for me. I can add that uh, as, the, as the layer on top of my unified API. Very powerful feature, and in the next video, we'll look at even more advanced features of Hazura Cloud.